What's going on, everyone? All right, we're up here in the north part of the Delta, in the kind of still in the Sacramento area, just before we get to Walnut Grove, and uh, and kind of the Ilton corridor over there. But uh, yeah, man, I'm excited. We uh, we already have our limit. We're currently sitting in eighth place out of uh, about 50 anglers in the California Slay Nation online tournament. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get some calls out of the Delta here. We were over at the Barge Canal Access uh, a little early on, uh, earlier on in the week. Now we're out here at the Delta trying to go ahead and find some biggins. So we got uh, a 13 and a half, a 14, and another 14 that we need to call and go ahead and see if we can't replace with something closer to 20 inches or just over 20 inches. But uh, yeah, you're here with me. I don't know if you saw. It's uh, raining on and off. It's not a great day, but that could be a great day for fish, right? So we'll see. Let's go. All right, well, this is where we wanted to come. This whole stretch right here in this little inner slough. So let's see what we can't get out here. Of course, we got distracted on the way and fished like five, six spots. And of course, there's too much current. Why would bass be right there? But right now, if they're still in the spawn or post spawn, away from this current, tucked in under cover, back all back here with the structure should be nice. Let's see. Should be, and then is. You know, those are two different concepts. Well, guys, it's a pretty dumb thing I did. I mean, it would be, would have been better if I had some um, anti-bacterial uh, spray, which I might have if I really went digging, but I'm pretty sure I don't. But at least I had super glue. So that yeah, was a pretty nasty gash I just cut, trying to cut my frog off that line, and unfortunately, just not paying attention, trying to switch it off quick to get back in the water, I cut an area of my finger open there. So, I mean, yeah, that's... Uh, Super glued shut for right now. Good old super glue, though, that should keep us on the water. Not big, it's not big, whatever it is. Oh, okay, no, you'll do. Yeah, you're not keeping. Coming off, my dude. Good to know you're back here, though. Right where I thought you'd be. Nope.
Alright, well, thank you for coming up and playing, my dude. Right. Well, not huge, but 14 and a half helps the cause. Thank you, my dude. All right, well, let's try this again. So yesterday didn't go as planned. We went out uh, just after sunrise. It was rainy, it was windy, and we only caught that one dink. Again, this is the Slay Nation online tournament, and we already have our limit in an we're in at about 73 uh, and a half inches. So uh, what we're doing today, because we got rained out yesterday and then we tried to get back on uh, mid-afternoon and then the winds were just whipping too much to stay out uh, and really stay in place and try to fish for too long. So we're back out today. We're not fishing uh, Hogback Island today. That's where we were yesterday. Today, we're going over to Paradise Point. Now, I fished the White Slough a few times, but I have never launched from Paradise Point, and that's right there in the middle of the White Slough, so, um, I mean, I've launched from the Lads Marina area, and then I've pedaled over to the, the beginning of the White Slough, but, uh, but yeah, I'm excited to fish it, so take you with me, let's see if we don't have a better day today, forecast says it's light wind and it's sunny, so uh, that's good for me, whether that's good for the fish, we'll find out, all right. Let's go. All right, well, first cast off Paradise Point. We didn't go far, the boats are still right there. Alright, well, let's see if we're frogging, if things are froggy yet. I love this reel, man. I just make so many great casts with it. And catch some pretty damn good bass like this one. Yes!
don't know if you're pretty damn good, but you're, you'll keep. All right. Let's see. Call my shot on that one, huh? I'm gonna try to do that a little more often. Maybe I just have to call him up. Not a cat call, but a bass call. Well, you're not gonna help the cause, my dude. But thank you for coming up and playing. Close. But we want your friends. Right where you're supposed to be, just not the bigger one we want. Not small, hooked you right in the lip. Nice. Get you right out, my dude. Thank you. I came up, said hi, I let you off right away. Tell your friends it's that easy. You were seeing hi, saying hi too, but you're not good. Thank you for saying hi. Goodbye. Again, right where they're supposed to be, in the little corners and cuts by the reeds. stay pinned. You stay pinned. You're a good one. You are a good one. Look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> All right. Come on, my dude. Come on, my dude. That's exactly what we came to Delta for. Right in the lip. So, well, yes, sir. <sighs> now, you gotta get you measured, my dude. You gotta get your picture. You gotta get you measured. You gotta make it all official, official.
All right, nice three pounder. Thank you, my dude. Let's get you going. 17.25. I thought he was a little bigger than that. And I thought he was closer to four pounds. But, you know, sometimes you're wrong. It's that, that's that, you know, you wish scale. Not not the actual scale, but the, the I wish it was scale. Out here in the Delta, man, whenever you flip out into the reeds or into the weeds and you get that initial bite right away you're always thinking oh my god is that the one is that the double digit because there's so many of them out here in these waters that's why we all come here all right that's it for this weekend guys uh so we launched two different places fishing the online california slay nation tournament and uh, you know, it was, it was it. It was a good time. We caught bass both uh, both locations at Hogback Island and Paradise Point. Um, it was my first time ever launching at Paradise Point on the second day. And honestly, if I had to pick a favorite day of the two, that was definitely the the better day on the water. Um, uh, so, so as of right now on the Slay Nation tournament, we're sitting at seventy eight point two five. We got a couple calls in over the weekend here. Uh, and uh, looking at the leaderboard uh, this past week, there's been a lot of movement. There's multiple people over 90 inches, and uh, it's looking like I'm going to have to call just about everything in my in the bag I have right now, which means we're heading back to the Delta for most of uh, the rest of this month. But yeah, no, I look forward to trying to get back out in that water uh, every single week here, if not twice a week, and seeing if we can't improve our, our standings in this monthly tournament. And just having fun on the water and starting to learn the Delta a little more every time. I've only been out there about, I don't know, 10, 12 times now. And uh, I mean, I know more than I did the first time, but it's still it's still an adapting, evolving puzzle. And uh, I think even those that fish the Delta religiously, you know, year round, I think it's still an adapting, evolving puzzle for them. It's just they know the, uh, they know the tells and the little shortcuts in terms of trying to figure out that pattern a little faster than someone who's only been out there a handful of times so i look forward to becoming more of an expert uh, on the delta and uh just continue to fish with you guys all right thank you